In this demonstration, I'll show you how to fit an exponential model to data. The question reads, determine the exponential relationship y is equal to a times b to the power of x that best fits the data in this table where x is the number of years since 1921 and y is the population of British Columbia in millions. So from this data, we can assume that this will be, this row will be our independent variable x and this row will be our dependent variable y, where we have y is equal to a, b, x. a represents your starting value and your starting value is at 0 0.52. b is your base and when the b is greater than 1, that means the population is growing and when it's less than 1, it means that the population is declining. Y represents the population and X represents the year. This sort of problem is very similar to first and second differences. In first and second differences, we subtracted the, the proceeding Y with the preceding Y and we did that subsequently to see if there was a pattern. In our case here, to find out what our B value is, what you have to do is divide the proceeding y with the preceding y. And what I mean by that is 0 0.69 needs to be divided by 0 0.52. And subsequently, this number needs to be divided by this number, and so on. And the premise is that you do this and you find out all the y values, all the, all the, the numbers that are divided, and you take their average and the average you use as your B value. So let's do that. What is 0 0.69 divided by 0 0.52? 0 0.69 divided by 0.52 is equal to 1.32. And we're going to do that for all of them. And lastly, 4.08 divided by 3.37, which gives us an answer of 1.21. Now that we found out all of these numbers, what we could do is find their average. So let's do that. Let's find their averages by adding them all up and dividing by the number of observations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1.32 plus 1 1.18, 1.29. And this number right here will represent our base B. And since it's greater than 1, this suggests that the population has been increasing. Let's put this together y is equal to 0 0.52 times 1.29 to the power of x. Now, in the next question, we are asked to estimate the population of British Columbia in 1985. Remember, x represents the year. So, technically, we need to put some number into x so that we find out what the population is at that point. Do not be tempted to put 1985 into your x. Instead, what you should do is take 1985, which is our target year, and subtract it from the starting year, 1921. And by doing that, you get 1985 minus 1921, 64 will be your x value. Let's plug that number in. 1.29 to the power of 64 should give us a semi-accurate population, 0 0.52 times 1.29 to the power of 64 is equal to 6 0.21 million. Now let's see if that is accurate according to our table. 
And it's not, unfortunately. You'll notice that 6.21 million does not fit the trend, the growing trend. Now, what went wrong? Notice when we were dividing 0 0.62 with 0 0.52, we didn't take into account significant digits. We used 1.326 rather than 1.3, which is the appropriate measure to take. So when you are doing this, make sure that you do take into account significant digits, and that will ensure that your B value is more accurate. If you found this tutorial helpful, Please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.